On a joint visit to the White House, Poland's political rivals President Andrzej Duda and Prime Minister Donald Tusk put their differences aside to urge Washington to send more aid to Ukraine. President Biden invited the two leaders to mark the 25th anniversary of Poland's accession to NATO. A quarter of a century on, Warsaw says the alliance is facing its biggest threat as Russia presses on with the war. There can be no safe Europe without a strong Poland. And of course, I would say also that there that can be no just Europe without a free and independent Ukraine. Poland fears it could be Russia's next target if Ukraine doesn't win the war. In a bid to avoid this scenario, President Duda says each NATO member should spend at least 3% of its own economy on defence. Poland has already committed 4% of its spending to military needs, double the current target of 2% for NATO countries. 2% was good 10 years ago. Now, 3% is required in response to the full-scale war launched by Russia right beyond NATO's eastern border. While Biden has hailed Poland's current defense spending, Washington says the call for NATO members to increase their budgets may be overly ambitious. In the meantime, it's sending aid directly to Ukraine to hold Russia back. The U.S. will now give Kyiv $300 million worth of much-needed military equipment. Today, the United States is announcing an emergency package for Ukraine using cost savings from previously approved Pentagon contracts. The package includes munitions and rounds to help Ukraine hold the line against Russia's brutal attacks. This latest announcement may not be enough to appease Warsaw or Kyiv. They want Congress to break its impasse over legislation to provide an additional $60 billion in security aid to Ukraine, which House Republicans are currently blocking.